In this video, we're going to look at exactly how to use the terrain editor to its maximum potential and exactly how to make amazing worlds really fast with it. So let's get started. You need terrain to make amazing realistic maps and you can go ahead and add terrain, grow it, expand it really fast without meshes or any of that stuff. So the way that you can actually access the terrain editor is by going to view and then going to terrain editor right here and making sure you have it dark gray and you have it you'll see it on your screen somewhere so yeah here is the terrain editor so i'm going to close out the toolbox so we can see this full screen there's a few different sections but the main one that we want to look at is edit edit allows us to go ahead and start adding our terrain so let's start add let's go ahead and add a bunch of terrain so you can click add and you can change the size here and you can drag around and click and you'll go ahead and add some terrain now i'm gonna admit i don't really like the add tool i don't like it that much and the add tool is just really not that good you'll see it's just like kind of not it's not that good that's why i highly recommend using the plugin called part to terrain which is going to let you turn an entire part into terrain so i'm going to click on the base plate turn that into terrain and boom there we go you can get this plugin by clicking the link in the description or just searching it up inside of toolbox and typing in part to terrain so next up let's take a look at flatten well, we have all this lumps of terrain, so we might as well flatten it back out. So the flatten tool, you can click that. We can go ahead and increase the size and we can flatten this out. Just gonna flatten it out a little bit and there we go. So next up, paint. Paint is incredibly useful. So let's go ahead and grab the material called leafy grass. So as you can see, by default, you should have terrain decoration on, which is these grass blades. If you don't have this on, you can click the terrain in workspace and go ahead and check off off decoration and make sure that's enabled but what leafy grass is for is mainly for painting areas that don't have this 3d grass and it's really useful to make a variation and really cool stuff so i highly recommend using that when you need it especially if you have a part you don't want these blades sticking through so that's what this is really useful for now let's look at the grow tool so the subtract tool we're not going to look at that because it's basically the same as add but subtracting now a road allows us to go ahead and push away terrain and push it in see so we can sculpt it out can i add some bumps etc we can just form it how we want there's also the grow tool which is the opposite it allows us to grow it out so i recommend making you know some cool like hills like this and you'll go ahead and see the sides of the hill they're very not nice so what i recommend doing is painting these with basalt or something like that and going ahead and making that a nicer material now we can always change our terrain materials i'll admit this is a little dark so we can click on the terrain and click on this color and we can go ahead and set this to a little bit brighter and there we go so it looks pretty nice so we can just paint the sides of these hills with basalt now we have a very nice looking hill very natural looking very good now one other thing we can grab like ground and we can go ahead and paint some of that around add some trails maybe but yeah so using all these tools together you can go ahead and make some amazing environments so i recommend you know growing some terrain making some really big areas even using the add tool by sizing it up maybe making like a cylinder and then just adding some of these around. Go ahead and get some cool shapes here going. Now this looks like complete crap, but if we size this up, we can go ahead, if we grab our road tool, size it up, we can go ahead and pull away from this and make it into an actual hill or mountain. So yeah, as you can see, we're getting some really nice stuff. I actually wanna see how this looks with sandstone. Do they have sandstone anymore? Yeah, there we go. Actually kinda cool. Hmm. We could add some sand around it and make a whole new biome. Minecraft, you know? So, you know, paint a bunch of sand there. And there we go. So, yeah, I love terrain. And I know certain people don't like terrain, but I love terrain. Terrain's... I like, I like making maps with terrain so much. So, now, something really cool to keep in mind is that the terrain editor is now made even more useful with material service where you can create custom materials and material override and you can also recolor all the terrain in here again and it's really nice so i can go ahead and make the grass a little bit brighter you know get a cooler color you'll want to copy that and paste that in leafy grass too but now with the ai material gen generator it's insane so i can go ahead and add a part or i can go to home click material generator and if you don't have this you can go to file beta features and in here you can enable material generator which is right here and you'll have to reopen roblox studio restart it to go ahead and get that but yeah so with this we can select our part we can type in simple smooth cart cartoon grass shaded 
and we'll go ahead and get a bunch of material instantly generated by AI for us. So, and then after we apply it to our part, we'll be able to use it. So yeah, now this actually looks pretty cool. Although simple, it's a little simple, but we can try it. So let's go ahead and change the base material to grass, save and apply that. There is, an, uh, there is a organic mode, which actually smooths out different textures and blends them together. But you know, depending on the texture, you might want to use that, you might not. For a tile, you probably wouldn't, but for this, it works. Now we can go ahead and go to our material service, change the default material for grass to the simple grass material. And it's gonna go ahead and turn that into our simple grass. Let's go ahead and chain. I'm gonna duplicate this. I'm gonna go to material service, click this, hit control D. And I'm going to change the base material to leafy grass. This way we can actually set it to be the same. I'm going to go to leafy grass and I'm going to change it to the simple grass material. It's kind of a weird looking material, but you know, it demonstrates it a little bit. How about we get a simple, smooth cartoon mud texture and replace this just for another example. I'm kind of liking that. I like that a lot, actually. Holy crap. That's good. And it's crazy. It looks like that's really like a footstep or something. So I'm going to make this organic, size that up, the base material mud or something, apply that, and we'll set the default material in material service, and we'll go ahead and change it to our simple mud material. And oh wait, let's chain, let's duplicate that. Um, let's make that ground and let's see, let's make it, let's make that gr Okay. Cause I forgot we were using ground. So let's go boom. So yeah, now that's looking awesome. We're having a much more cartoony vibe to this. We could even go do the same thing with this. Get a cartoony rock texture. See how that looks for basalt. Oh my gosh. I love this. This is crazy, bro. So base material, we'll set this to basalt. Go to material service. Set this to that. Boom. Crazy, right? Let's see how that looks organic. Eh, mid. But yeah, I mean, the, the, the opportunities are endless with this. Really can't wait to see what you can create. But if you want to improve your terrain skills even more, make sure to click the video on screen with some amazing terrain tips in a video I made a while ago. Some really good advice if you want to keep improving your terrain skills. Go make some amazing, realistic, or cartoony maps, and see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.